this guy, if he would just look here, yes. You, yep, exactly, I'm talking to you. Hi, Elvark. <laughs> Everyone knows this guy. This is my bearded dragon, Elvark. I think he's turning three years old already this year. Yep, about three. So this is my three-year-old bearded dragon, Elvark. And today, we're going to be giving him a poop bath. And by poop bath, no, I'm not going to be putting him into poop. I'm going to be putting him into the bath to poop because this guy hasn't really pooped in quite a few weeks. And this video will also be like a demonstration. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't turn your back on us. I'm talking to you. No, no. Where are you going, Alvark? <laughs> so yeah, this video is going to... Whoa, what is your problem? Dude, can you please... No, we are not doing that today. Okay, stay here. So yeah, as I was saying... Okay, fine. You want to walk away from us? Be rude. Not like I care. Actually, I do. But do whatever you want. Whatever that makes you happy. Again, this video is to show you guys a way to get your bearded dragon to poop. Because I did search online. And a lot of people have been having issues with their bearded dragons not pooping. And this guy... This guy if he would just look here yes you yep exactly i'm talking to you this guy is no exception because if you don't help him to poop he will take maybe a month or even more to poop this guy you gotta make him poop you know normal animals when you let them run around and you leave them alone they just poop by themselves but bearded dragons like this guy and other people's as well i don't know what's with them and just not being able to poop by themselves no clue but let me show you how i'm gonna make this guy poop that's right. I'm talking about you. It's gonna be an embarrassing video for you, but oh. Okay, you wanna <laughs> no arguing here, okay? So yeah, it's gonna be an embarrassing video for you because I'm just gonna be showing, yeah, okay. Let's, let's get straight into this video. <laughs> All right, and the thing that you're going to be needing to get your bearded dragon to poop is warm water. So this is lukewarm water, not hot to the touch. It's something that you can just leave your hand in forever and ever and ever, and you just don't burn yourself. If you wanna know what's the temperature, it is 91 degrees Fahrenheit. It may be a little bit warm, but we're not going to be putting him in just yet because I'm going to be putting in some of this. And if you're wondering what this is, this is called potassium permanganate. It's recommended by my vet. It's sort of some antibacterial thing that will help with fungus, with bacteria. Hey, where are you going? Dude, where are you going? This is what my... No, not for you. So this is what my vet recommended. You can get this from the pharmacy, I believe. It's not mandatory to put into your water. I just put this in as an additive but if you want to put your bearded dragon in just plain lukewarm water just do it because they will poop as well this is just something to help with killing the bacteria so basically you want to take just a little bit like this if my phone would focus there we go and then just drop it in and then you see, look at what happens. It turns purple. What you want is the water to be a light pink color. We'll let this settle for a while and then we'll stir it up before we put this guy into his bath. Hey, you see he's excited for his bath already. And don't worry, these guys, they are able to drink the water. My vet said, yes, it's an exotic vet. He said that it is beneficial for them in small amounts, so no worries. And also before you put your lizard or any other animal, you can even put a snake in here. You can soak this snake in the snake can drink this and it's good for them according to my vet and i've done it to my snakes and nothing has happened to my snake so i believe it's fine whoa you are already excited will you calm down we'll we'll get to you very very soon so yeah this is still what's the temperature it's 88 degrees now wow temperature is going down really really fast once it is dissolved pretty much you can my phone just doesn't want to focus does it you can just stir it up like this and before you put your animal in you want to make sure that all is dissolved 100% because if you look over here you can still see it's in the process of dissolving these are crystals they're tiny tiny crystals and if you don't allow them to dissolve properly they can enter your lizard or your snake skin in the scales between and it's not good for them so you want to make sure that everything is nice and dissolved see it is a light pink or purplish color. You don't want it too concentrated because I believe that's not good as well. This is what the vet recommended. There isn't like any specific concentration or anything. He just said that it should be a light purplish pink color and it should be good. So it looks like almost everything. Yeah, I think everything has been dissolved. So it is time to put Alvark in. It dissolves like super quickly. So you don't really have to wait too long. Okay, that should... Oh. Put this over here. Elvark, are you ready for your bath? Are you ready, Elvark? Come on, Elvark, let's go. Yeah, that's my boy. That's Elvark, the beautiful bearded dragon. I just fed him a whole bunch of crickets, so it should help him poop. Probably not the crickets that he just ate, but the previous food that he ate. Come on, Elvark, it's warm water. You're gonna like it. Hey, 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 
You're gonna like it. Stop coming up to my head. Dude, it's it's shallow. Don't worry. I think he thinks that the water is deep. That's why he's scared. But there we go. You like it? Yeah, you like it. <laughs> so we can just like put some water on him and yeah. Potassium permanganate. This is actually his second permanganate bath. I put him in a permanganate bath like last year, I think. I don't do this all the time because, you know, too much of something is always never good. So once in a while, occasionally, it can help with bacterial infections and yeah. So there we go. Just submerge your tail in. We'll check on him in, I would say, another 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll check on him in 20 minutes. So be right back. 20 minutes later. So it's been about 20 minutes and Elvark, what is this? <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So guys, as you can see, if your bearded dragon hasn't pooped in weeks, just put them in some lukewarm water. I mean, now the water is cold. Let's see how's the temperature. Wait, what? 94? Didn't I test it at 80 just now? Um, okay, fine. About <laughs> about around 90 plus degrees. And you just leave them in for, let's say, half an hour and they should poop because... I don't know. I don't know what's with their system that they will poop when there's water. But, oh, Alvar, no, no, no. Do not, please, do not, like... Yeah, I can, I can see that you are ready to come out. Okay, and you have a little bit of something stuck to your chin. Uh... We'll get rid of that. You can come down here for- Whoa, calm down, man. What was that? Okay, let me just- What on earth is- Ugh, ugh. Okay, that is like- That's pretty nasty, man. So, yeah, there is Elvark's poop. If your bearded dragon suffers impaction- No, Elvark's not having impaction. But if your bearded dragon's having impaction, I read that you put them in warm water as well. It will help to- I don't know, like release their poop or something? No idea, but what are you doing at my foot? Can you please, like, dude- can you, ah, uh, Alvark, just stay at one. No, can you stop it for once? Just relax, bro. Relax. You've had your bath. You've had your, what you call this, steam bath. <laughs> and it is time for you to go back into your enclosure. Are you ready to go back? You ready? Or do you just want to, like, hang around some more? Yeah, I think I'll just put you back. And for this, I'll just probably take it and I'll toss it into the toilet bowl because, I mean, it's, it's just poop. It's regular poop. It's not like this poop is any different than you guys' poop or my poop yeah <laughs> it's not any different it's just with insect stuff like you can see bearded dragon wing over here you can see there's quite a few stuff in here which are different than ours but i mean it's just poop so this goes into the toilet bowl what are you doing huh you want to go back into your bath hmm? that's a thermometer it's a digital thermometer look here you want to see the temperature it's 90 degrees. Okay, I guess you're not interested in thermometers. You're interested in just, I don't know. What are you interested in? What the hell, Elvark? <laughs> it's time for you to go back into your enclosure, not just hang around on my arm. Come on, man. Get off. Oh my, what the hell? Dude, get off. Get off. <laughs> 